as requested by some of the students. And uh, they hope that I can record some video on some uh, higher order thinking problems, hot problems, or more difficult problems. So this is this one, question number 21 from exercise 5a. It's rather a tricky problem. And it shows the number of boys and girls who like or and dislike swimming in this table. And uh, a student is chosen randomly from this group. What is the probability that the student is a boy who likes swimming? And so for part A, we have a boy who likes swim. And uh, the total number of possible outcomes will be the sum of all these four numbers. And therefore we can sum up this. There are 40 boys and uh, a total of 35 girls. So the total number of boys and girls will be 75. And we have a boy who likes swimming. A boy who likes swimming. So this part is the boys like swimming, dislike swimming. So there are only 22 boys who like swimming. So our numerator will be 22. The number of favorable outcomes will be 22. And for part B, a student who dislike swimming, dislike swimming. And the event actually indicates it is only a student. And it really does not matter whether he or she is a boy or girl. It really doesn't matter whether the student is a boy or girl. So, again, the denominator will be 75. And who dislike swimming? So we have two parts here. This one, 18, and this one, 20. So there will be 18 plus 20 students who dislike swimming. 18 plus 20. So this will be 38 over 75. And finally, for part C, the selected student is a boy. So again, we have a 75 as the denominator. And out of these 75 students, we have a total of 40 boys, 22 plus 18. So this will be 40 over 75. So we can simplify this. We have 8 over 15. And that's all for this section 5.1 Introduction to Probability. And good night.